Uh, uh, July of 2011, is that right? <laughs> How long have we been together? Um, 2014, 13, 13. Let's see, this was May of 2013. Well, uh, I don't really know. This is like the first time I've really spent any time with them, so. Sound Off started when a group of girls who used to sing together, I was one of them, with girls, a bunch of girls that got together and decided that we wanted to make a co-ed group. Let's start a group. This sounds like a lot of fun. Um, to be honest, at the beginning, I was a bit skeptical about the whole thing. And so one at a time, we just auditioned guys. They started joining. And started bringing in guys. It became co-ed, um, you know, one at a time until now we've got a pretty much even ratio. That was two years ago, I think. So we, we auditioned boys and then we got Brendan. So I was the first guy to join. And then we just took it off from there. And then we just kept having auditions to try and get more guys in the group one guy after another and it just kind of all worked and it's just it's been incredible everyone just fits really well together it turned out to be something pretty spectacular music for me is my life music is the one thing that gets me up in the morning music is what i've devoted myself to uh for me it's i've had so many wonderful experiences i've made incredible friends and I, and I know for a fact that this is just going to be a growing journey for me. It's every day I'm going to learn something new. I know this is really cheesy, but music means everything to me. It's my profession and the most easy way for me to express myself. A lot. Music is a huge part of who I am. Um, it always has been and always will be. Not only improve myself, but along the way I want to be able to share and help others that want to get into the music. So singing is always something I can do whenever, wherever we're meant to be together. I'm just kidding. Um. <laughs> My audition was really nerve-wracking because I hadn't sung for anyone in a really long time. I apparently told everyone I mastered acapella. So I auditioned. They seemed to like me and I was like, great! And Audition. They wanted me to come and join, and I joined. So. I said okay. So I went and auditioned, and um, I did not get in. Um, there was a room of eleven or twelve different people, a couple familiar faces and a couple not. Um, and I was nervous, but everyone seemed really cool and easygoing. Um, she eventually uh, persuaded me to come back, come back in again, and. Uh, you know, went, came in and sang my dingling, and uh, they decided that that was the song that would put me over the edge, so they took me. Probably one of the retreats we go on. Several months ago, we had a gig at uh, Endicott College, and it was for uh, homecoming, I think it was, but. Um, I remember specifically that we killed both performances that we had to do that evening and people were filming us the entire time and they just ate it all up and it was just awesome. When we first started singing Never Let You Go um, because it was the first song that we really learned together as a group and it was so amazing and that was the first time that I really thought that we had something really good going. I don't know that. I don't know. Every single retreat is like so much fun that every retreat is like that best memory and then the next retreat will happen and they'll be the best memories. When we opened for Rockapella. I've been a, been a big fan of acapella music and Rockapella since they were doing um, the Carmen Sandiego uh, theme song in the 90s. And uh, so that was really special. It's, it's any time we're on retreat. Favorite memory with the group would probably be singing at Boss. 
not the first song, but by the middle of the set when we'd all kind of settled and were kind of really kind of getting comfortable on stage. Because um, it was the first time that as a group we really kind of came together. Um, Kevin, his like passion for like just teaching music and when he gets like really involved in it makes me so happy because he loves it so much. Kevin says yay all the time. <laughs> Kevin is just so optimistic about everything. Um, you'll never catch him in a bad mood. John's face is when he beatboxes. John is an incredibly talented uh, beatboxer and singer and just an all around great guy. I really, really love spending time with him. Diana, cute, prancing around, you know, just kind of like bubbly and does. Diana has this little yodel thing that she does, like the. Uh, any song we start singing, I'm on fire. Eileen is like that to some degree too. She's very, you know, personable, lights up a room. Very humble, very kind, generous girl. Uh, beautiful voice. Um, very flexible, versatile too. She can kind of match any type of voice part that's assigned to her. She'll get it right. Emily doesn't like Taylor Swift. <laughs> Emily is cold all the time. It could be the middle of July, and she's singing like this. Duchess is an absolutely suitable nickname for Emily. <laughs> Whatever she says goes, she gets what he, she wants. Megan is so awesome. She's like, she says how it is. She likes to take charge, and, uh, and she likes to, uh, to have her say. <laughs> I love you, Megan. Leah doesn't have quirks. <laughs> she's no, she's, Leah's the most normal person. Um, Leah can be quiet sometimes, but when you take a moment to get to know her, she is hilarious and great to share secret parking spots with. Melissa just like, out of nowhere, she thinks the most random things are hilarious and she just busts out laughing out of, for no apparent reason. Melissa has a smile that lights up on her. I mean, James has his, his prayer hands and his push forward. Frequently throughout practice, he would just riff up and down scales like no one's business. That's my, that's my impression of James. Pierce is a dick, just kidding. Pierce is a jerk, just kidding. Very strong leadership, you know, he's very engaging. He wants to make sure things are always on the ball. I love Pierce, he's amazing. Pierce is great. I love Pierce. Patty talks in a Australian accent. Patrick's inability to not sing with a slightly country accent or twang. Patty screams a lot, just in general. Liz, I feel like, has already warmed up to everybody and she did, she never really had to try. She's She's the kind of person who will just like welcome you with open arms and assume the better of you. Dude, I love that kid. That kid is, first of all, I love his hats. I'm gonna steal most of his beanies. He doesn't know this yet, but I'm stealing most of his beanies. Um, the new guys, uh, Will and, uh, and Tyler, seem like they're you know, really, really nice people. Um, really funny, have a great attitude. Um, Who? Who? <laughs> well, it's changed my life in a couple ways. Um, I would say um, having, being able to sing every week with an incredibly group of talented people. Um, I, I just feel so lucky. It's my getaway from life, it's a time when I get to go hang out with people that I love to hang out with and uh, make great music. At this point, I don't know, dude. Sound Off is, it's my social life and it's also my outlet. It's where I go every single week to do exactly what I love. It's, Sound Off is pretty much everything in my like social life now, like all of my friends, my best friends for sure. And, and just sing and be like friends with everyone, which is awesome, like a group of friends who are supportive and Amazing. 
Oh, God. Uh, John. 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 Definitely John. 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 For sure. John. John. <sighs> um, I would have to say John. John. Definitely John. John. Endless. I can't choose because everybody's so awesome. I'm really excited about our show in February. I'm really excited about releasing our EP, and recording has been really fun, and I love all the arrangements that we're working on. I, I'm really excited for the EP because I really believe that we put everything that we have into every song in the EP. I'm excited to just keep making new music. The sound off, get to know everyone better. It's looking great so far. Um, repeat the question. <laughs> I actually don't know if I have a good answer for that one. Um, that's not true at all. I don't know why I'm saying that. I hate doing recorded things. <laughs> Let's start a riot tonight. A pack of lions tonight.